All right, man, word on the street is John Penancy, Lions defense alignment, nose tackle, defense attack, whatever you want to call him, has retired from uh, the Detroit Lions, all right? Now, he was one of a few Lions that wasn't at the T-shirts and shorts camp, that's what I call it. And apparently, uh, the reason was he was contemplating his place in the league, and he going to retire now. Got to remember, too, he was like a seventh-round draft pick out of Utah, the knock on him was he was he gonna be big enough and strong enough and athletic enough, you know what I'm saying, to uh to still dominate in the lower level. And I think he held his own out of Utah. He was the six round pick, 197th pick. Um and he was solid. He was solid, bro. He came in at 318 pounds, just over six one. And he ran a four nine three with twenty-three inch bench reps, and uh he was solid. Uh, now people asking how we gonna replace him, and I don't really think that's hard. No offense to him. I mean, you still got a Dominic and Sue lurking out there. Um, you got some. You got some other people lurking out there. So it's not like we got to replace, um, you know, somebody that we knew that was gonna be dominant, like a John Randall, Reggie White, Prime Sue. You know what I'm saying? You know that ain't what this is. You know he's a good depth guy. Um, so I don't know. Would you bring back Nick Williams? I think he's more of a four three defensive end, but good run stopper nonetheless. But um Eric Williard ESPN. Detroit Lions uh, defense tackle John Panisi, 25, retires after two NFL seasons. Uh Detroit Michigan Lions defensive lineman John Panisi retiring after two season NFL now his decision in Instagram post Saturday morning. Quote, I made the decision to retire from football. Panisi wrote, I'm definitely going to miss my teammates, the coaching staff, but I'm glad I got to experience it. I'm happy and excited for whatever life has for me. So he gone. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> so you just anime, whatever one that is. So he gone. It's not the biggest blow. But uh, Penisi 25 started 12 of his 32 career games, rushing 49 tackles, four tackles for loss, and a sack and a fumble recovery. Detroit selected him with a six round. Uh, six in the sixth round of nine, 2020 draft. Out of Utah, you know, for my family, friends, teammates, coaches, all people who support my dream along the way, I appreciate and love you guys. When she wrote, hashtag go Lions, hashtag one pride. Now, you got to ask yourself, you know, if he was winning, <laughs> would he have retired, man? You know, that's the question. If he was with the Cincinnati Bengals, the Rams, you know, the Packers, would he have, you know, you know, turned this mother? Uh, you got to ask yourself, would he lose everything, hurt a little bit more? Don't forget that. When you lose everything, hurt a little bit more. And that's the honest truth. You know, and that's the honest truth. When you lose, it hurts a little bit more. You know, when you win, shit, everything, you know, it's the same thing in life. Once you hit a, you know, hit a big roll bump in life, all the little bumps feel like a big roll bump. You know? And every, every little thing just irritates you, just, you know, just feel like it rock your world. You know? But you got to keep going. You know, it's hard sometimes, but, you know... The good times don't laugh and the bad times sure don't either. So, I mean, he might be back. I doubt it after making this decision. Um, but you get a lot of these guys, like Penenzi was a dude from the 49ers that, that retired early. Luke Keekley retired early. You get a lot of guys that's retired early, you know. But, you know, Lord knows what, the pain, whatever can endure the pain. I mean, a lot of these dudes don't want to go to training camp. That's the, that's the honest truth. A lot of these dudes just don't want to go through camp. You know, and like I said before, you know, camp is what prepare the body for the season. You know, a lot of these dudes get out on camp and they blow something out, they tear something because they wasn't in shape. You know, you got to stay in shape year round, and then you don't know, you know, you. I mean, you take that rest with your family. You don't want to leave the kids. You don't leave your girlfriend. But then again, obviously, he got a career plan ahead. You know, obviously he got a career plan ahead. He made some money in the National Football League. He can come back if he wants. But who knows what his plan is? And maybe, you know, to pursue something in his uh 
you know, his his degree uh, that he got at Utah State. So, but you know, Patrick Willis retired pretty early. So, like I said before, man, um, everybody think everybody have Ray Lewis, Patrick, I mean, Brad Hart, Brad Favre type of Iron Man career. That's not true. The NFL stands not for long. The average year, the average career is like two and a half years, if that. You know, that's the average career. So, I mean, it's tough, but, you know, you know, it's replacing them. I don't know, man. Uh, maybe that's another video for another day, another time. Um, I know Dan Campbell said he was going to be out. Uh, he was excused and shit. There it is. But if they was winning, I don't think he would retire. That's just my opinion. When you're losing, I'm telling you, everything hurt a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, like I said, one like we lost John Randall or Darren Donald and Dominic and Sue or, you know, even the Cliff Averill. He was a good deaf guy. Um, you know, you just want to see him put it all together. He had the athleticism, you know, just get a little bit stronger. And that's probably what he was doing in the league. But, you know. Now it is what it is. It is what it is, but first names coming to you is Adamic and Sue. I mean, Josh Pascal. You know, Josh Pascal be interested. He, he ain't no nose tackle, though. You know, so, uh, mm -hmm. but they going more of a four three front anyway. You got a McLean, Aline McNeil. He he's the star nose tackle. So let's we'll see what happens. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase chance of notifications. We go live and drop the video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign CJ Good three one three, Venmo CJ Good three one three, PayPal link in the description. Uh, other than that, man, uh, you go hit my link tree. I got a link tree now on this channel. You can find hit one link. It can take you to everything I produce the content on from YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, uh, Instagram, uh, Cash App, and my PayPal. You can find it there. It's one link. It's the first link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Check the trade lines. Talk Pelly South more videos like this. Peace. Hold on. Before you go, peace. I got to fix something. So, one second, man. But, uh, John. John, I mean, uh, John Panese is probably going to end up being, uh, they might bring Sue back. Everybody gets excited for bringing Sue back. So, um, we'll see, but I fixed it. Peace.